I got the Sunla Peg Red, which is the color in my hand. Sorry, this is not my hand. My hand is here. After I got the Sunla Peg Red color, I saw that it was not the color I wanted. The color I wanted was deeper. Now that I have got Sunla PTG, by the way, let's give it a review. So these two hands were born. These two hands were printed using Bamboo P1P. This hand did not roll over at all, and the printing effect was very good. The most powerful thing is that these two hands are used with a layer height of 0.08 to print. Let's take a look at the details. The entire texture of the palm basically has no layered lines. It is very clean. Let's take a look at the fingernails. They are very lifelike, including the folds of the skin. This is the strength of bamboo printer, and the details of the 0.08 layer height. When I put it on the desktop, I looked at it at a glance, then I really thought it was a real hand. The printing speed of the outer layer is 200, and the speed of the inner layer is 300. Sun Lupec has also passed the complete test and is a very good PTG filament. Of course, testing one model is not enough, right? Then I printed these things. My friend just had some models that need to be printed. What about this box? It is actually a waterproof box, with end caps at both ends, and there are such large threads, and the end is here. There is also a breathable mesh. I'm not too clear about the specific function of this. It may be to put something in it. It's necessary to ensure that it is breathable, but also to ensure that it is waterproof. I immediately thought of using PTG to print, and his thing needs to be buried in the ground for use after it is installed. It must not be allowed to degrade naturally, so I ruled out PLA filaments first and selected PTG filament. The first reason is my grasp of PTG, which is not bad. I am still confident in the printing effect. The second reason is that PTG has relatively strong chemical resistance, and the soil has acidity and alkalinity. But PTG filaments are stronger than corrosion and chemical resistance. Take a look at the surface effect. It is printed with bamboo P1P machine. The speed is still P1P's default speed of 200. The entire outer wall is really smooth. You can see a little layer pattern at the depth angle, but in the horizontal observation is very beautiful. This waterproof box, in the slope has exceeded 60 degrees. So what is the difficulty of this printing? It's slightly different from the other filaments we usually print. The slope has exceeded 60 degrees. It has a very big impact on the heat dissipation of the printer, the performance of the drape, and the filaments. This time, Bamboo and Sun Lupec have withstood this test, and there is no problem at all. After several modifications and debugging, the tightness of the thread is also just right, very silky, including the inner one. The surface effect is very smooth, the surface effect is good and easy to print. This PTG is considered qualified or even excellent among other consumables. The next step is its mechanical properties and its chemical resistance. It will take time to test this. Later, I will think about whether there is a way to make full use of these materials to test their comprehensive performance. Okay, the above is the evaluation and trial of Sunda PTG. Now everyone likes to print some cheaper PTG consumables. Personally, I think that the price of these consumables can be so low. If the raw materials plus labor costs and freight costs are included weight, then I feel that the cost should not be enough. I have been adhering to the principle and viewpoint of, you get what you pay for. To find some consumables that are as cost-effective as possible, easy to print and with good quality. At the same time, Sunlu is also holding an event to celebrate its 10th anniversary recently. This event should be very powerful. Everyone, take advantage of this opportunity to stock up on high-quality filaments from major manufacturers.